What is going on Wolfpack Savage here? Hope you're having a good day and I hope that Warzone has been treating you well. In this video, I really wanna talk about the skill gap of this game, mostly from the standpoint of anybody has a chance to win. There are so many different variables that good players, bad players will get killed even when they probably shouldn't have been. And this match is a perfect example of goaded players dying to other players just because of bad COD timing. But I hope you enjoyed the video. If you do, leave a like on the video, subscribe today. But without any further ado, let's go ahead and dive into the gameplay. All right, ladies and gentlemen, today's video, we're gonna be diving into some random solos gameplay. We're gonna be joining your average lobbies, getting a mixture of players, good and bad. And we're just gonna be going through things that players should be doing, players shouldn't be doing. We're gonna spectate good players and we're gonna spectate bad players. That way it hits a variety of different skill sets and hopefully someone can learn something out of this video. Now, right off the bat, we noticed that Pie Man is a level 237, and so far, right off the dump, he's very aware of a lot. Movements on point. Looks like we're actually going to be in free for a show. Now, the name's familiar. It might be the real Pie Man. It might not. We shall see here shortly. But just based off the movement and the instant um, kill that we started spectating, I will say it might be the real one. All right, we got $5,300 right now. We've got a bounty over at the hangars area, and we're just kind of just looting. Small looting some boxes, trying to find some money to get our load out and go ahead and get out of here. No one's popping up on a minimap right now. No gunshots are even being fired around us. Never mind, scratch that. We got shots being fired over hangers. Big Bertha pulling up behind us. Notice how aware of the minimap he is. He literally makes his way towards hangers, notices the vehicle, instantly diverts and goes back to it. A lot of players run off in this situation, either from lack of just knowledge and paying attention to minimap, or B, out of the fear of the vehicle. But here he is putting on a nice display with the with the beautiful snipe right out of the driver's seat. And guys, look, just because a vehicle's coming at you doesn't mean you guys need to break away and hide into a building. Make sure you try to contest it. Now, with saying that, don't want to stand out in the open and try your best. Use cover, use concealment, use your skill, get the headshot like he did, and get the kill. Here we have this poor, oh my God. Unfortunately for Pie Man, he ended up getting snuck and third partied by Blizzard. Damn, that sucks. I was really anxious to see Pie Man play. And unfortunately right now, it looks like we're gonna be spectating Blizzard, who's level 75 rocking three kills. Damn it. I was pumped. Shit. You guys would have been in for a treat, but now here we are spectating this guy instead. In situations like that, guys, this is a perfect display of what happens in Verdansk. Unfortunately, the skill gap in this game just is almost non-existent, and there's gonna be a lot of times that you will get killed by worse players than you. And again, we just saw that firsthand. Um, you could be playing the situation completely right. You could have the scenario down pat and be doing everything in your power to play it to the best of your ability, but still, you do have a chance to get third-partied. And um, unfortunately, that's exactly what happened to Pie Man. Here we. <laughs> Come on, man. No, not like this, bro. Come on, we we're spectating somebody good. And then we got you. I'm kidding. Honestly, he's not that bad. Uh, okay. Oh, okay. So again, um, again, notice the difference in Pie Man's gameplay as opposed to Blizzard. Blizzard's sitting here just taking a sweet ass time to do everything. Seems like he's got decent movement, but his decision making is lacking greatly. It takes him nine years to realize what he wants to pick up. He's gonna sit up here and try his best to take shots at a guy who's running out in the open, not even slide canceling. Um, two easy snipe shots missed, unfortunately, but I don't see why we would lose this fight. Popping dead silence going up through the front door. He's probably going to slow open. Nope. He's going to wrap her up. Yep. Here's a slow open. Listening for footsteps. Going to the left-hand side. There he is in the room going up and boom. That's all she wrote. And he goes down. So right now we need to go ahead and get our load out. We have $17,000. Um, your, your truck, your truck, unfortunately, is chalk, so that is out of the question. Here we are climbing up a ladder. Maybe he's going to go for the bounty. I definitely would like to see that. Nope. Nope. Bounty for what? Pop into the dead silence. We did hear footsteps below us, and that's exactly why he ignited it. Trying his best to find out where he is. He's being a little hesitant. Footsteps have stopped. Dead silence is running out. We need to find this enemy fast. And we're going to go ahead and say, fuck this fight. And we're going to go on and keep looting. Not really sure where the enemy went, to be honest. He might have just dipped out. Might have just ran through it. He may be sitting in a corner crouch. Who knows? But regardless, we have 18 grand. Let's go ahead and buy some shit. And let's go. Well, 
Blast breaks to our 303. We noticed that. Throwing the stun in. He probably jumped out of the... Yeah, that was that was pretty much a given. Um, we get the armor crack, but we get stuck up on the ladder. And unfortunately, uh, Siami goes down. Not really surprised there. But the moment I heard that glass break, I probably would have pushed at a whole different angle. We were out there exposed. We were vulnerable. We had very little cover. Fortunately, he wasn't inside, so we were able to actually make it to the building. But if he would have been inside, he could have just easily shot us out the window. Not really a fan of the play in any aspect that he just did. Sitting here. Here's Eric now. Four kills. Rocking the heartbeat sensor. We got a bounty going to the trailers to our 75. And I'm assuming he's going for the... I'm assuming he's going for the loadout drop. Reaction time a little slow. We're able to get the shots. And you can see right there how, how much aim assist really affects a lot of people's gameplay. As he's tracking the enemy, he started at the chest, but because of the recoil, once the enemy stepped behind the box, we instantly dropped down to the ground and started shooting the ground. Um, and look, rely on aim assist is fine. Make sure you do that, but you still want to improve your aim. That way, I mean, there's nothing that one. We had three different enemies around us. We had one in the 157 by the plane. We had the guy right there behind us, and we had the bounty at the trailers. Can't fault him for that. But going back to his accuracy, guys, please, if you want to get good, at this game or any FPS, put in practice, play against bots, go after fights. Don't play like this fucking dude here. Look at Gabriel just sitting in here, heart beating in a corner. Nope, not one scan. Vehicle pulling up to the north. Huh, weird. Weird. No one's on heartbeat? Hmm, no shot. It's gotta be, it's gotta be a hack. Heartbeat the vehicle, please. That'd make my fucking day. Enemy jumping out, going probably to get the bounty. Here we are, heart beating again. Another enemy popping up on the southeast that actually been in a fit us for once. There he's going for the open. And here we have, ladies and gentlemen, just a player baiting. What are you hiding for? Shoot the man. What are you doing? Are you going to let him get his loadout? Oh, yeah, you're dead, brother. Oh, you're so dead. Oh, oh, oh. He's trying to get the sensitivity. Didn't quite make it across. The enemy slid canceled to the vehicle. Here's the sniper, and there she is. Thank you, Chucks, for getting him out of the lobby. I love it. Now, look, right there, we had a, we had a basic scenario. You don't see it too often, honestly. It's very rare. I run into players, at least, that are camping loadouts. Very rare. Um, that guy was just sitting there. <laughs> oh, here we go. Just waiting for players to come to him. He didn't give a shit about movement, didn't give a shit about objective, didn't give a shit about anything except for watching those damn loadouts. Granted, there are a lot there, but... There were so many other ways to play that. Uh, I'm really glad to see him get knocked out of the game. All right, but here we are moving on to Chuck Smokes Dope. Creative name. And we're going for the bounty objective, I think. Why is it marked so far away? It's not popping up on the mini map. It's throwing me off. What the hell is going on here? Bruh. I don't think there's a bounty anywhere around us at all. There isn't. Raven Soft, doing a fantastic job. All right, we got a loadout in this situation. Again, dude, when you don't know what to do, what do you do? <laughs> it's simple. You have two things. If you guys ever find yourself in a situation, look for an enemy, and you have no, and you have no idea where he's at, one of two things. Grab a bounty, UAV. It's very simple. Stop overcomplicating this game. You may die. You may die a lot, but at least you can find some damn enemies. Here we are going to the buy station over here. Not a... Not a bad one. There's probably not going to be too many people around us. 27 enemies up in this small-ass circle. So just playing the numbers game, you might have a guy over here, but I pretty much think we're safe. It's not even open yet, but still, don't be get, don't get complacent. Get in, get out, buy your you have, and move on. I like it. Let's look at the map. We've got an enemy over here. Again, no one's around us. At least that doesn't have ghosts. And we have a homeboy camping uh, fire station. Now, what are we doing now? Ladies and gentlemen, what are we doing? We got a UAV. We've identified a target. So let's go. What, what is this? We just wasted a whole UAV for nothing. For nothing. Now you might be thinking, Savage, he's far away, man. What is he supposed to do? Um, I don't know. Get on the damn vehicle you arrived in and go hunt his ass down. So again, we, we just wasted $4,000. Guys, I want to always encourage you guys to buy UAVs, but if you're not going to use them just save your money and just buy whatever the hell you want this game requires a lot of strategy this game requires a lot of accuracy and this game requires a lot of movement but 
those things come with time. You guys will eventually develop all those. What you need to be working on is sticking to the basics, right? Bounties, UAVs, hunt down targets, stop sitting on rooftops, learn how to gatekeep, learn how to drive, learn how to flank an enemy. You don't even have to start talking about rotations and strategy and accuracy and aim. If you just work on those basic fundamentals, your gameplay will increase dramatically. And no one ever talks about it because to us, that's just normal shit. But clearly after the year and a half we've been spectating players, we see the same thing over and over again. And I'll, you know, a lot of comments on these videos are savage. Why are you always spectating bots? Plot twist, we just had Pie Man in this lobby, right? These are your average players. This is how people play. This is why I make these videos. You guys want to watch 40 kill videos? They got a thousand YouTubers that do that shit. This video is specifically designed for players that are struggling to get 10 wins, 20 wins, 100 wins, 500 wins to help you guys get to that, that achievement, to help you guys develop the skill and the knowledge and the quick decision making that will not only make you a better Warzone player, but also help roll over into other video games as well. Because at the end of the day, when you're talking about another shooter, everything, everything's important. This. All right, well, there's that. I mean, I saw the glint sitting there. I mean, here we have Italian uh, on a seven kill rampage and he's rocking a double scoped loadout. I'm never a fan of the double scope loadout, to be honest. If he gets in a situation where he needs a close range weapon, say he's clearing a building or he goes inside or someone just happens to be pushing his shit in, he's gonna have a harder time ADSing with this gun and tracking the enemy at, at close range than he would Hit firing a bullfrog, ADSing with an OTS, things like that. Now, that's not saying this isn't a good loadout. You guys pick the loadout for the way you play. So for a double scoped loadout, you guys want to try to try your best to keep your distance, like I'm assuming Italian's doing. Just make sure if you're rocking double scope, you avoid getting up close and personal with as many enemies as possible. Gunfire going on over here to the 330. I'm assuming below us. No one's on the rooftop. Here comes the heartbeat. Nothing found. Another heartbeat scan six six feet later. Let's see if he hits another one. Looking at ATC real quick. Nothing right now. Another heartbeat. There we go. If at first you don't succeed, try, try again. My man's heart beating it up. And look, it's cool to have all the fancy movement and slide cancel and this and that. But if you don't use it to your advantage, you're literally just wasting your time. I saw a TikTok the other day. It was actually funny as shit. It was some player that was like slide cancel and their movement was fire. 10 out of 10 movement. They couldn't shoot the broad side of a damn barn. All right, finally we're going for a bounty and he keeps whipping out the heartbeat sensor. Now look, I get a lot of comments, got a lot of DMs. Savage, you're an idiot. Heartbeat sensors are awesome. I'm not hating on heartbeat sensors. I'm hating when play, people play with heartbeat sensors like this. If you guys are using heartbeat sensors like this, Please stop. Please. Now, that would have been a great situation to explain what I meant by close quarter combat fights. But that guy didn't, he didn't know what the fuck was happening. That man was living in a whole other universe. He was playing a whole other game. This man's playing Monopoly out here while we were just doing 360s and shit. So we had the bounty marked. We left the high ground to get the kill. We still could have gotten the kill on the high ground. I'm guessing he accidentally fell off. And now we lost on the bounty, but we have another one right in front of us. And again, keeping up a good tempo is very important. Very important. Stop wasting your time like this guy is right here. All right, so here we are in the game. And unfortunately, you know, Souls is just designed so poorly for Warzone. The way they designed the circle speed and, and, and everything about Solos is absolute trash. Very slow pace. Um, mid to end game is just a snooze fest. No matter who you're watching, it just sucks. And here we are now with 19 players left. Literally in the past 10 minutes, only like six players have died. Damn, if you would have had some machine gun, might have went a little bit better. Might have went a little bit better. Now, he did get stunned. Yes, he did. But um, he probably could have had the guy dead or right the moment he jumped down and ads on him if he would have had any SMG. Another player flying in right now to the 293. He was in his loadout, so he was in the buy, so he did not see it. So this might be unfortunate for us, but the UAV does ping it, so there's no excuse for him not to know there's a guy below him over in this direction. 
Looks like he's getting his loadout. This is actually the guy that our boy just killed. And here we are trying to change our position and get a better angle on the enemy. Keeping the high ground. This is perfect. Should be an easy kill right here. Hesitation with the gunfire, but still able to go ahead and clean it up. Only getting hit one time. Oh, shit. What the fuck? I'm mad for you, fam. I'm so fucking mad for you. And here we have AWD camping and laying prone, ruining people's gameplay. And again, this goes back to Warzone having very little skill gap. It doesn't matter how good you are. It doesn't matter how bad you are. Everyone has a chance to win the game. And I hate the way this guy plays. He must love it. And if you guys play like this and you enjoy it and it's working out, it's painful to say it. Keep playing like that. But, but again, if you want to excel to the next level, stop the shit. Here we are. Look, look at this. Look at the heartbeat sensor. What are you doing? Scan 19 times. The thermal. Oh my God. Oh, oh boy. Oh, and an M13. Oh boy. We do have dead silence. We do have full place. We have $18,000, by the way. Um, we got a buy station over here, but buys are probably out of the question because it is center of the zone, and I would imagine there's already an enemy camped up on this building or inside of it. One scan, two scans, and finally puts it away. No audio. Thanks a lot, Ravensoft. Beautiful game. Beautiful, beautiful. You see something I don't? Nope. Nothing's there. And look, it's in-game right now. It's in-game storage town. So this is where you really need to slow down your tempo anyway. So he's already playing 100 as far as that's concerned. Oh, God, no. Oh, no! We've got it. I... So it doesn't matter. We got a ping over here on top of this building next to the most one. He's got to force himself out. I would imagine most of the players are probably in this area, this area, and here. Um, there it is. You can see it. And, of course, they're launching the clusters at, that's right, the rooftop of this building. So we were right on that as well. So we've got one player, two players, three players identified, plus us. We're missing eight other players. And again, process elimination. There's going to be a player coming from this way. There will be probably two players over here, at least one right there, one right there. And you probably got two people doing exactly what the fuck we're doing in these other cubbies in Storage Town. So again, this is why I tell you guys to slow your pace down because everyone around you is slowing it down. It's not, it's not that I'm a fan of slowing it down. It's just what you have to do so you don't get shot in the back. Especially in Storage Town, you kind of want to play the edge of the gas. You really want to play it as slow as possible. Clear every single cubby. Don't leave your body out and expose that much. He didn't even check the right cubby. Dude, he gave zero fucks about that. Not even sprinting, just straight slow walking. I love it. I love it. Oh, yeah, out in the open. Not even trying. Dude, you realize there's a sprint button, homie, right? Nope. He found the crouch button, though. He found the crouch button. I'd also imagine there's a player here, too. Because of the buy station that was over here, he may have rotated. And also, this is another, this is another habit of heartbeat players. Not all of you guys, right? Not all of y'all, duh. But a lot of them. Um, they rely too much on the heartbeat. So if they scan an area and no one pings in their head, it's safe, right? Couldn't couldn't be more wrong. Oh, weird. There's There he is. There he is. He's got to be rotating our direction. Oh, God. We're just sitting in the open. He saw us clearly. He's going to be playing the rock. We're going to repeat. He's going to fuck us up. We've got stickies. And now we're running away. We had we had position. We had angle. We had him gate kept. Then we turn around and ran away. But at least he found the sprint button. And here comes slide canceling Betty right up our ass to finish us off. And I think your uh, Neo was the guy that was the guy we were spectating. Or the guy that we were spectating that he killed. Can't even remember now. I can't keep up with him. But here we are with Uranio, rocking seven kills, six enemies left. And again, we have knowledge of where a few enemies are at. Here we have another heartbeat, but quick scan puts it away. Great on him for that. Again, not, a, not against the slow play in this circle right here. It's a very dangerous zone. You don't want to just go around slide canceling your way out in the open. There's a player right-hand side. You didn't see it, bro. Oh, my God. Stunned. Does Amos just save us? No, it does not. And Revoledo going in, clean it up. Beautiful stun. Great reaction time. Now, as far as Uranio is concerned... When we rounded that corner, we already saw him. He had to do his second take to actually see the enemy. Um, just lack of observation from him, but it's something to be worked on. Now, here we have, I'm going to call him Rev, rocking three kills, playing it slow. Four enemies remain. You're going to have a lot of people coming. You're going to have one guy coming across from here for sure. For sure. So we could, we could post up on the wall and shoot at him, or we could just sit right here 
and do what we're doing. Kind of dangerous to pop up here. If we do go up one more level, we have a risk of getting shot from the hill, risk getting shot from the top of this building, um, as well as anybody rotating out. But he's anticipating a rotation, and he might not be wrong, honestly. I think he's anticipating anticipating the rotation. He might not have ghost. There's a chance he doesn't have ghost. Very slim because all the people who had heartbeat sensors never even saw him. But there's a chance he didn't doesn't have ghost on. Look at the stick drift. Oh my gosh. Great read. Guy up top shooting too. Gonna go ahead and buy stuff. What are you doing? He's on the roof, bro. What are you doing? Oh, you're dead, son. Oh, you're so dead. He clustered the wrong part of the rooftop. He's kind of fucked himself because he can't rotate out right now. Not that it matters. He's just going to sit in the gas as long as possible. It's kind of questionable. It might work out. It's not a 1v1. We know the enemies to our left hand, our right hand side. So we need to go ahead and utilize that information. You might want to start fighting. Don't, don't. What are you doing, bro? Just blindly firing. Hell yeah. There he is on the rooftop. Shoot him. There you go. Use your gun. Look at that. Look at that. Beautiful. It's a beautiful thing. Now we need to rotate to the enemy. We get the knock with the cluster strike. I'm sitting here trolling him to, to the... I'm trolling this man to Kingdom Come about using the cluster. And not only does he throw the cluster randomly, but the guy happens to jump off the roof and land right in the damn cluster. So, so I guess in a sense, he's a genius and I'm the idiot. Wow. Well, going back to skill gap. Is it really in the game? You guys really believe skill gap's a huge thing in this game? Because I don't. I'm not convinced at all, are you? Guys, look, I hope you enjoyed the video. I really want to put an emphasis on skill gap and just show the fact that anybody has a chance to win this game, anyone. You've seen it three different times this game. We saw a rookie kill Pie Man, who I believe is like the top ranking kills in the world. We've seen crouch walkers literally outshoot people who could slide cancel their ass off and have great movement. There are so many variables when it comes to BRs. Like I said earlier, you have accuracy, you have reaction time, you have so many things with strategy and rotations and shit like that. You don't have to nail them all. Start from the basic fundamentals, master that, and then grow from there. I always implore you guys to practice against bots. I always implore you guys to go out there and pick fights so you can get some actual experience fighting instead of just watching videos. But again, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like, subscribe today, and until next time, you have a good one and good looking Warzone.